World War III. We know that China is a part of these last days because the Bible prophesies of a 200 million man army that will invade Israel right here in Revelation 9 verse 16. And we know China will be a part of it because they have the largest army in the world of 2.8 million soldiers. Shout out to all the brothers in the pushing this truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. Yeah, this is a brother from Jamie's um, Jamaica camp. Um, Yashamai. I war. I know one who, um, you know, I listen, you know, on World War III, you know, we see a lot of video on social media, you know, the, you know, people, you know, speaking about, you know, Bible prophecy, you know, pertaining to World War III, right? And, you know, you know, some of them, you know, be a little upon point with certain prophecy, but some of them basically understand, you know, what really take place, you know, in the scripture. And you know, going back from way back before, you know, um, certain events that really take place. You have the apostles and elders, you know, been speaking about this third world war destruction, going to the prophecies them we are gonna lead to the destruction, you know, the society. And you now because a lot of things happening you now, you have a lot of people you now jumping, you know, and trying to put them input and you know, understand the scriptures. Right? But you know, according to according to prophecy, we understand and we know that, you know, this third world war destruction is gonna take place because I written in the scripture. Right, that we actually need time. Right, I have um, you know, this, this prophecy. Um, we speak in Revelation. Speak both in Revelation um, nine and, 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 and sixteen. Right, you have you know um, some, uh, you have um, some people on the internet or social media say to talk about um, China army. You know, prophecy. Right now, do with China. They actually, are going now what? The war it. Right, the nuclear war it's much um, nuclear war that go hit um, the land of America. Right? Yeah, you can't go on, brother. It's Revelation 9 verse 14. What? It says, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Can't say super sense. Loose the four angels which basically bound in the great river Euphrates. Right? In um I think in Revelation 16, you can't get it better. Uh, Revelation 16 and verse and verse 12. You know, speak about you know the four angels. Revelation 16 and verse 12. It says, and the sixth angel pour out his vial upon the great river um, Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. Kind of, we should see how that take place right now. Right, we see the river you refer to is a drip right now. Okay. So by prophecy are fulfilled right before we eyes. Right? You see what I Um Saint John 6 63 says it is a spirit that quickened it. Okay. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right now we see the prophecy of this prophecy I come to pass right before we eyes. The great river you refer to is a dry up. Okay. Right? And the scripture will actually explain the reason why. You know, the great river you pray it is a drop right now. Right, go on, brother. And the water thereof was dried up. Can? That the way of the king of the east might be prepared. That the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Right? So these these um Russians, you know, these um um Arab, you know, these armies can so the armies them can prepare themselves, you know, for this third world war destruction. Bring class and military, so they can move them equipment. The military equipment right? Across, man. Yeah. So, so they can get prepared for it, you know, for this turn out, this final battle. Right? Okay. Are you back to that? Back to 9? Yeah. Are you back to Revelation 9 and verse, and verse 14. Go on. It says, um, again, it says, saying to the sixth angel, um, which had the trumpet. Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Gone. And if I go back to Revelation 7, you actually tell about it. Yeah, yeah, you can't get Revelation yeah. 7 too. The angels um, the whole of the four wings that you heard. Because as as a brother, you know, quote a scripture. You have the angels them out there whole of the third reservoir destruction Gone. because certain prophecies, you know, have come to pass before this war starts. Right? We understand and we know that. Gone. Right, you have certain prophecies we have to fulfill before. This war kick off full flesh. So you have the angels, they basically are wall it off. Right? 
Because you have a lot of people who run with, with, with their own ID and yeah. who run with their own thing, they are this or that. Man. But you call it a scripture, scripture tells us how, how to deal with the thing. Man. Scripture tells us a line up and line, precept up and precept. You're a little, you're a little. And the Lord, you have a bash me and try to help me understand it. You get it, man. And every man get that understanding. Then, then, it's in Revelation 7 and verse 1. Then, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, huh? holding the four winds of, of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the, on the sea, nor on any tree. I'm talking about what? That nuclear, you know, Can. destruction, you know, that shockwave, you know, destroy everything in its part. Whereas in basically nuclear, when the scripture Can. speak about. Right, so before this great destruction take place, especially in the land of America, because America is, is going to get it the worst, it's all the countries across the world, America is going to get it the worst. Can. Right? And Israel, the land of Israel is going to get purged also, according to what written in the, in the scripture. Can. Right, so you have the angels, a whole of his war, as basically I mentioned earlier, because certain prophecies have come to pass Can. before this war kick off full flesh. Not until, right, it's all about prophecy. Can, can. Right? The Heavenly Father, you know, set everything how it's supposed to, you know, take place. Because the scripture tells us, you know, um, bring up the scripture for me to brother, go further. Um, Isaiah 46 and verse, and verse 9. And you can go back to that. Because this, this is our movie. Right? The Heavenly Father set Isaiah everything how it's supposed to go. The other way is supposed to go in. in. Why, what? Isaiah 46 and verse 9. Go on. It says, Remember the former things of old. Remember the former things of old. Go on. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. Go on. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. There is none like our power, Yahweh. Go on. Right? The true name in the Hebrew of the Heavenly Father. Right? Go on. In declaring the end from the beginning. So the Heavenly Father declare, right? The end from the beginning. So it's all in doing the Heavenly Father. Right? And this basically gives us the guideline of how things are basically done. Okay. Right? They all go back to prophecy because it was predestined by the Heavenly Father to take place. So all these things have happened. Right? But certain prophecies have to take place before you know okay. World War III kick off full fledged. And we understand that. Right? So go on, you can continue back to the scripture. Says, you know? um, declaring the end from the beginning. Go on. And, and from. Ancient times, and. the things that are not yet done, Go on. saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Can't say, Heavenly Father, do what you ever in peace. Yeah, this is the Lord's pleasure. Man. And. Give us your one. Yeah. All right, back to Revelation, Revelation 7. Where we just yeah, yeah, up. yeah. Let's, 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 let's finish up. Um, yeah, then I'll go back to that. Yeah? I will just jump back to Revelation 7 here. It says, um, Verse 2. It says, And I saw another angel. Ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, Gone. and he, he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given Gone. to earth, the earth and the sea. Gone. Then, we know who the sea go up to, people. Then, and even when the person said, he said, the, the wind of blow up on the tree, it's actually going at the people in my house, it's just dealing with the people. Then, then, Saying, earth, not the earth, neither, um, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not until the elect seal. And, you know, we believe, you know, when a time when the elect, you know, is basically, you know, actually getting ready to seal, are, are almost sealed because can't. things have been happening straight through. Everything, everything has speed up now. Can't, can't. Right? So certain things have to take place, you know, before this war kick off the right and proper way. Right? Then, this, right? And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Right. Right. Stamp, stamp there, man. Who? The tribe of children of Israel. So, you know, they did everybody or every nation from the earth. Yeah? Back to, um, Revelation 9 and verse 15 see? And, see? and the four angels were loose which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year 
part is slay the third part of men. God, so yeah. say, slay what the third part of men. You have the sons of God, sons of men, and you have the sons of the wicked, right? The third part of men, the sons of the wicked. This is basically Esau, Edom, Louis, uh, Louis, you know, on the earth right now, Louis of men. Man. And the number of and the number of the army of the horsemen Gun. were two hundred thousand thousand. Gun. And I heard the number of them. Then. And you know you have um you know, as, as I mentioned earlier on, you have um this you know this uh I think uh, 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 these um men and social media said this scripture a scripture I talk about China. Right, you have a new, you know, you have the vloggers and, and TikTok, you know, and social okay. media speak about this, this scripture talk about China. Right, they refer to, 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 the, to the, the ICBM missiles, warhead them, you know, actually I refer to, they're going to hit in America, right, from all these countries across the world. Right, right. hey, we're not, we're not, China not going to use them in ICBM, no, they're not going to use it. We actually speak about the missiles, they're not about, you know, um, China military. Okay. These ICBM missiles are also the last army, right? So it's about much worry they're going to hit, you know, America. Man, because when they, when they hit, hit America, you know, that was basically what cause the, 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 the mushroom called the scripture speak about. Can, can. So it's not about the China army. Right, my brother? Can. And, and thus I saw the horses, when the horse represent power, man. Then, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat and them having breastplates of fire and of just of just sin, and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions Gun. and out of their mouth issued fire Gun. and smoke and brimstone right. yeah. right. talking about the as I mentioned, because uh, even even I'm going back to even, um, uh, the former president of Russia, I think he quote the scripture. Right. I think uh, even a year ago, they about, about basically turn America in a in a, in a, in a dust. Yeah, I believe article come out. I think in the last year, the same scripture, right? It says um, Joel two and verse and verse two. I'm going to start at one. Yeah. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, Gun. sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Sound an alarm in the last holy mountain. All right, now we're blowing the trumpet. Gun. You know, we've been blowing the trumpet for years. Right? And now we're actually in the time now when, you know, the prophecies and the things, them, you know, we've been speaking about, you know, especially the apostles and elders from way back. Right? When the, when the, um, the apostles have been speaking about Russia. Right? And what Russia got to do to America. You know, people are basically making fun. Can. You know, make fun of the apostles them because they say we all something Russia have. He sent with us because we have people back then at the, at the time. Can. Right? In the early days, you know, we're speaking about Russia, what Russia got to do to America. People are laughing at us. And nobody can be you know, to America. I make, I make fun of us, yo. Yeah. So Russia can't do nothing because we all weapon they have and all the other for hog, you know, yeah. all the nonsense, yo. I know we're not time now when we are. We're not time when the prophecies are pop off right before Can. we eyes. So we've been speaking about this. For years through the spirit and power of Hashem and Shai, starting our pastors and the lads and down. Now we know the time when the prophecies them come to pass right before we eyes. Can. Right? Basically, the scripture said the, 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 the nations are going to say they will become weak as us. America. Because even uh, I, I watched I watch, um, the thing the last night, redacted, and he have an, um, a US general, former general man, and he basically the major general, he basically come and, come and say, boy, right now, you US can't. Have a, have a fight with, with Iran because America is weak. Yeah, he's in, in state that out of his mouth, man. And he's a former US general, man. So he's saying America is weak to go up against Iran at the moment. See? Iran alone. So he, he, you got have Russia and, and, and China and them other countries that them contend, man. Contend with. See? He says, um, in the holy, in the holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah, people are really are tremble now. Yeah, people give up their own business. They don't care. They don't have a funeral. Majority, you know, don't have a funeral right now. Right? It says, for, 
says, For the day of the Lord cometh, for, for it is nigh at hand. And without a doubt, we can see that. Yeah. These are what the prophecies and all the things that are taking place on the earth now. We can see that here. So we're very close to our Lord and Savior, how shall I say, can return, you know, based off all the things that are taking place. Can, can. Like you have, you have this right now, that we're actually in that time. Go on. It's a day of darkness and of gloominess. So the time we're approaching right now, she's probably saying it's going to be a day of darkness and gloominess. Go on. They have clouds and of thick darkness. Go on. As the morning spreadeth upon the mountain, Go on. a great people and a strong there are not been ever the like neither shall be any more after it Go on. Go on. even to the ears of many generations Go on. exactly because according to prophecy you know, after these ICBM missiles destroy America nobody not going to live back in America Go on. right Go on. It, says, it says the fire the void um, before them, talking about the missiles, then can. these ICBM missiles are going to shoot off from around the world or across the world. See? Right, go on. And behind them, a flame burning. Can. That, that fire, we basically a popular, you know, these. A, fr a flame burning, yeah? Uh, these, these missiles to them destination. See? Right? So you have the fire behind it, you carry it you know, yeah. out of space. You know, when you go to that space, you have a part where you let off. Right, and you reach, you know, a um, certain distance of that space, you let, let off that part. Can. And then, you know, next part, let off the warhead. And, you know, some of these ICBM still have multiple warheads, you know, in the head part. Naturally, naturally all of them have yeah. multiple warheads, yeah. then. Then? Yeah. And for your burn it, they said the land is as the Garden of Eden talking before about, them. Talking about the beauty, full of America, or the, the Golden City. So before these ICBM missile hit the land of America, by the scripture say, it's like what? The Garden of Eden yeah. talking about the beauty, how pretty America, you know, look. Right? The land of opportunity, the golden because city. Everybody wants yeah. to go there. Out in Jamaica. So called Jamaicans then, you know, look to America as well. Um, the promised land. That's Promise basically a lot of Jamaica, so called Jamaican which are mainly which are mainly from the tribe of Benjamin, they look to America as a promised land. So before these ICBM miss, missile hit America, it's like what? The Garden of Eden. Go on? Then, and behind them a desolate wilderness. And behind them a desolate wilderness because they're gonna turn America in a dust powder. Every mm. single thing gonna be yeah. melt according to what written in the scripture. Thus say the Lord. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And nothing shall escape them. Gun. It says the appearance of them is is as the appearance of horses. Gun. Going back to Revelation 9. The scripture tell about um how them look, them like horses are here. Then Zin. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Gun. Zin. It says, like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire Gun. that devoid the, um, the stubble Gun. as a strong people set in battle array. Gun. So the, that one in um, in, in um, in um, second is us, uh, 16. You see, how am I going to hit target? Can. So strong is the law that you can't get to the finish. Um, second is us, 16. Can. And verse 13. It says, it, says, it says, before their faces, before their face, the people shall be um, much, the people shall be much pain. Can. All faces shall get a blackness. Can. Imagine, in a, yeah? Imagine living in America when these missiles shoot up. You're going to take a lot of faith. Right? Because according to the prophecies, according to prophecy, right? The scripture says, the Lord is going to um, deliver, you know, the elect. Um, in um, in, in um, oh, Zechariah, Zechariah 13 and verse 8. So in all the land, which is the land of America, two parts therein shall cut off and die, which is two to our people. Okay. And a third are going to left to go through the fire. Okay. So you're going to have the elect get beam up. Out of the fire, out of the nuclear fire, we're gonna take place, you know, in America, in, 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 in very, very soon, right? In the near future, so you're gonna get beam up, right? In South this hour, a thousand, I'm gonna fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, can. but you shall not come nigh thee. Can, you know, can. in the scripture, so they're gonna get beam up into the chariots, you know, they, they refer to 
East or East America, it was UFOs. That's right. Then while America melt, I turn that basically great lake of fire. I mentioned in Revelation. Right? It says, Continue, brother. It says, they shall run like mighty men. Done. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Done. They shall march everyone and its ways and its ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Done. I mean, them, them, the harder where they are coming at, they are coming at that harder, man. No nago, as they actually, no nago miss. See? See? So they are they have a, have a harder where they are trouble. See? No nago break them rank, man. It goes straight on. Yeah. It says, Neither shall one trust against one trust another, they shall walk everyone in his path. And when they, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Sure. Yeah. Right. So them just are going to do the work, man. Do the work. This try with them for this try, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, show sure, it, man. Is that? Uh, yeah, it's a Kanezas. Okay. 16 and 13. Uh, the book of Second Ezra 16. Yeah. And 13. It says, it says, for strong is the, is the, is the right, is the right and that bend at the bow. God. Strong is the right and that bend at the bow. Yeah. Right? The how shy is the right hand. God. Right one? It says his arrows that he shooted, that he shooted are sharp. God. And shall not miss. So not one is beside I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. Everyone are going to hit them target. Go on. Because these, these are the Lord's weapons. The Lord's spirit are going to be in these missiles. Because they was created for a purpose, to use. You know? When, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Right. Into the end, in the ends of the world, man. When they're going to shut in the cap. See, in this, in this describe it as a bow and the arrows, man. And you know, so a bow and arrow can't shoot the fire at the ends of the world. A literal a, bow. A, a, a literal bow. It can't shoot the fire at the end of the world. Bro. Merle, so that means that it's a refer to what? The ICBM missiles, man. Them things Intercontinental like arrows, man. ballistic missiles. Can. Can. Uh, yeah. Alright. So with that, you know, we are in the video. Right there, you know, hopefully, you know, this was edifying to the, the brothers, brothers out there and also the, you know, the few sisters. Can. Uh, because we, we need time when the prophecy is never fulfilled and you have a lot of people now, you know, seeing things happen and they try you know, march it back to the scripture but they don't really understand it right. Right, but you know, who are the true prophets? You know, the apostles, senders and elders, you know, are down right, they will basically give us this truth through the spirit right. yeah, so with that, I say I'll praise Zanana and to Yahweh Ba'ashim 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 Double honors to the apostles, to the elders of the stone Shalom to all the brothers who are pushing this truth in our sincerity and honesty Shalom Shalom